yeah, of course there's, there's hope, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. The, the fact that we're all dark and wounded, and we, we, most people maybe do not think they are to that degree, but we're all dark and wounded. We're all dealing with life as best we can, but we, there's issues everywhere. We've all got issues. We've all got, you know, things that we need to look at and repair and fix. And uh, but basically, we we have to look at it. And when you go through this exhibit and you look at, at the paintings, I think what most people see is they start to see the connection between what's going on in the paintings and how they feel. They start to relate to it because we're all dark and wounded. So there's a thread that goes through the whole human species. I'm tapping on part of that dark and woundedness, which is yes, in the paintings, yes, maybe specified to a uh, or targeted to a specific, you know, event that happened that was dark and wounded. But it's still all us. So when you're looking at it, you're relating it. When I'm painting these, I am very dark and wounded when I'm painting all this stuff. And I'm a human being, and I'm just tapping into that thing that we all have. So when you're in front of these paintings, everyone's affected by these paintings because we're all human and we're all dark and wounded. And to realize that you know, you're not the only one who's dark and wounded, it's okay. You know, you, you might not have the extremes, but we all have wounds. That is a, a sense, that's a link that ties us all together right there. I think with everyone who went through the show did feel connected with everyone else and the work. And when you feel like, okay, do you want, I'm not alone. Right there, there's a great opportunity for healing too.